you know, it's not it's not the normal 40, 50 odd thousand that the Crows can get to games, but um, I'm excited for our supporters as well and our members, and it's great to be able to have them come to a game. I know it's going to help our players. Um, our players have really been looking forward to it all week. Uh, you know, to get some crowd there and support behind us, hopefully it gives us a you know a little bit of a lift. Some of the boys had a hit out yesterday. Did everyone get through that game okay? And I don't know if it was reduced numbers. How does mm. everyone pulled up after that? Yeah, they had a great hit out uh, against uh, Port, so that'll be something we'll see a fair bit of over the coming months. Um, but everyone pulled up well from that game. Um, yeah, we had a couple of guys that really stood out. Himmelberg you know, played a fantastic game. Atkins came back, uh, his first game back as well, so he was running on top of the ground. Uh, it, was a, it was an interesting hit out, much better than a training session. It was a 16 a side game. Uh, and that's going to be our challenge going forward for both clubs is, is the numbers, you know. Um, how many injuries do we have and how many we can we field in that practice match? Because um, I think by the end of it we had about 14 a side, which she was reasonably wide open. There was some good ball movement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you keep optimism high in, in a challenging year like this? Yeah, it's interesting because it is challenging and, and you know, ultimately we're, we're in a results-driven industry. So... At the moment, we're not performing. We're not getting those results. But from an off-field point of view, we've, the, the players are in a really good space, and we're, you know, we're making ground. Um, we're seeing growth from from a lot of our younger players. Um, you know, there's some really positive things coming through, and um, as far as our younger group goes, and so so. What we're working on at the moment is, is not so much staying positive. We're now starting to talk about the mindset of what we're bringing on a game day. Because uh, you know, we're really positive all week, as I said. It's now a matter of you know, getting to that point where we're going out expecting to win games. Um, we've challenged some opposition, but we haven't done it for long enough. So the consistency of that sometimes can come back to your mindset. Is it possible that the crowd will be the big difference for you this weekend? You know, the whole philosophy of the 19th minute? Uh, well, I know they're going to add to our, I know they'll lift, give our guys a lift, no doubt. Um, and that's where you talk about that mental side. Uh, you'd like to think the work we're doing during the week is, you know, our game plan, we're beginning to get to a, a, a place where we're consistent and we're performing it, you know, quarter by quarter rather than missing a quarter here or there, which is costing us. And I think if you look back across all the games we've played, there's been small patches where we've dropped off, you know, for five or ten minutes and a team's piled on three or four goals and, and that's been the difference. So, so I'm confident the work we're doing you know, during the week is, is going to get us back on track, but uh, I'm also really looking forward to that crowd getting into the stadium and, and getting loud for us. Still no Gibbs? No Gibbs on the side? Can you talk us through it? Yeah, it's a, it's a challenging one because Gibbs, you know, he's doing everything we're asking. He's, um, you know, he's playing some good football at the lower level. Uh, the challenge for Gibber is, is just to continue doing that. We've, we've said all along that, you know, we're going to need everyone on our list this year. Uh, and, you know, the talk at the moment is we'll be, we'll be cramming a number of games into a, a smaller period where we may play every four days or so. Um, so we'll be looking at uh, guys like Bryce, um, you know, some of our other players to step up and they'll be needed. Um, at the moment, you know, we've got Hardigan in the side, we've got McKay in the side and, um, you know, we're challenging for positions. And so Bryce and I are having dialogue throughout. He, he's frustrated um, and, you know, that, that's a tough thing for Bryce at this point in time, but he'll get his opportunity and, and he's going to be a really important part of this season.